Hey, what's up guys? How would you like to be able to watch all of the brand new movies, TV shows, live sporting events, and much more absolutely free? In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through step by step everything that you're gonna need to know to jailbreak any Amazon Fire Stick in just a few minutes. Also, I'm gonna show you how to get to a secret app store where you're gonna be able to download all of those amazing apps that you're looking for that you can't find in the Amazon App Store. All right guys, if you're ready to jailbreak your Fire Stick and install some amazing apps, we'll just sit right there because I'm gonna show you how to do all of it right now. All right guys, so you're excited and you're ready to jailbreak your Fire Stick so that you can start watching some amazing entertainment for free. Let me show you how easy all of this really is. The first thing that we need to do is log in to our Amazon account so that then we can download apps from the Amazon App Store. So once you're logged in, now let's go ahead and push left on our remote until we're in this magnifying glass right here. This allows us to search through the entire Amazon App Store for any app that we want. All we have to do is push down and click our center button. It's gonna bring up a keypad. And that allows us to type out whichever app it is that we're looking for. Today, we're looking for an app called Downloader. I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. Now, I've only entered the very first letter and it's already appeared right here on this list. There's no need to type out the whole thing. Just slide down highlight right there where it says downloader and click on it. It's gonna bring you right to this bright orange app. Let's go ahead and select that. Now we're gonna have the ability to install this app on our device. All we need to do is click the center button one time. The installation begins automatically. As soon as the installation is all finished up, it's gonna say open, but I don't wanna open the app just yet. We're just waiting for things to wrap up. As soon as it says open, then what I would like for you to do is hit the home button on your remote. All right, so the next thing that we need to do is go into the settings of our Amazon Fire Stick itself and tweak just a couple of settings. The easiest way to get into all of your settings is just to slide over all the way to the end. Then you'll see the menu appear on the bottom half of the screen. Today, we're looking for something called My Fire TV. Now, if you're using an older device, it might not be called My Fire TV. It could be called My Device. Also, if you have not updated your device recently, you might notice that it's in a different location. It used to be down here, and with the update, now it's located here. So whether it's called My Device, My Fire TV, if it's down here or up here, it doesn't matter. Let's all click in that together. All right, so now our screens should look the same. Now you might notice on mine, I have something that you may not have, and that is developer options. Now if any reason that you don't have developer options on this menu, don't worry, I'm gonna show you how to get it really quick. Just come up here, click right there where it says about. Then while we'll highlight it on your Fire TV device, click the center button on your remote several times. Let's do this together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See, it says, congratulations, you are now a developer. As soon as you see that little pop-up on the bottom of the screen, then just click the back button one time, and now you too will have developer options on this menu. All right, let's go ahead and click into that together. Now the first thing that you're gonna see is ADB debugging. Currently, it's turned off, but if we just click our center button one time, you might have a little pop-up. Just click allow. So we just wanna make sure that ADB debugging is turned on. Once you see that it is turned on, then we're gonna come down here and we wanna click install unknown apps. Now you'll see that downloader has appeared on this list. Now you might have many different apps on here. Just slide down and highlight the one that says downloader. Then click your center button one time. And just like that, I'm able to turn Downloader on. Now really quickly, I wanna go back one step because if you have a really old Fire Stick, it's not gonna say install unknown apps. It might say apps from unknown sources. And if that's what you see, you're only gonna have the ability to turn it on or off. Just make sure that you turn 
the apps from unknown sources on, and then you can continue with the rest of the video. All right, let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. The next thing that we need to do is go and find that new downloader app that we just installed. The easiest way to find all of your apps is just to slide over almost to the end, to that icon with the four squares and a plus sign, or the three squares and a plus sign. Click on it. This is gonna bring up all of the apps that you have on your device. And the newest app always goes to the very bottom. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the very bottom, and the very last app is the last app that you've downloaded. So let's go ahead and open Downloader together. You might have a pop-up when you first open this. Just click the center button and that will disappear. All right, guys, so Downloader, it allows you to go along the internet to almost any website it is that you'd like to visit. All you need to do is click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. Again, it's gonna bring up a keypad allowing you to type out whichever web address it is that you wanna go to. Today, I wanna take us to one website in particular and I'll throw it on the screen as I spell it. All right, so now that you have that address entered correctly, just click right there where it says go. Now you'll see this little red circle that I have on my screen. And if I use the control pad on my remote, I can move that circle up and down and left and right just using my remote. So what I would like for you to do is just to move the red circle down the screen just a little bit. We're looking for this box. So again, just move the red circle anywhere and put it on the box and click the center button. The download process will begin automatically. As soon as the download's finished, it's gonna ask for you to install the app. So just slide over and click the word install. Give your system just a second. When it's all finished, what I would like for you to do is slide over and click the done button. By clicking done, it's gonna bring us back here where now we have the ability to delete this unnecessary installation file. So we just hit delete and we slide over and we hit delete one more time. And guys, that's everything that we need from the downloader app. So let's go ahead and click the home button on our remote. Now, really quickly, we need to go back into the Amazon Fire Stick settings to change just one more setting. And if you remember, the easiest way to get into all of your settings is just to slide over to the very end. The menu appears on the bottom half of the screen. And once again, we're looking for My Fire TV. Then we want to click on Developer Options and we want to click Install Unknown Apps. And this time, you'll see that Unlinked has appeared on this list. Again, you might have many apps on your list, so just slide down until you highlight Unlinked. Then click your center button one time, just like that, and make sure that you turn Unlinked on. Again, if you have an older Fire Stick and it says Apps from Unknown Sources, don't worry about turning the individual apps on. Just make sure that you turn apps from unknown sources on. All right, so let's go ahead and click the home button on the remote because the next thing that we need to do is once again go and find the app that we just downloaded. And if you remember, the easiest way to find all of your apps is just to slide over to the three squares and a plus sign and click on that. And your newest app always goes to the very bottom. And as you can see, the last app is the last app that we've downloaded. So let's go ahead and open Unlinked. Now the first thing it's gonna ask you to do is add a new library. All you need to do is click the center button on your remote two times, once, twice. Again, it's gonna bring up another keypad allowing you to type out the code to whatever library it is that you wanna visit. Guys, I have created my very own personal app store that I am sharing exclusive access to my store with my subscribers only. So if you've not done so already, please do me a favor, click down below and hit that subscribe button. That just tells me thank you for all the hard work that I've put into creating my own app store, loading it with over 50 amazing apps, giving you free movies, TV shows, sporting events, live TV, pay-per-view, and much more. 
And all I ask in return for giving away everything for free is that you be kind enough to hit the subscribe button. Now that you are a subscriber, let's go ahead and enter this code. And now that you have that code entered correctly, go ahead and click the center button on your remote. All right guys, so welcome to my very own personal app store. Like I said, this store is loaded with over 50 amazing apps and people always ask me, what's my favorite? I've put together my top five favorite apps right here. I've also put together a very important message about why you should be using a VPN when using the apps from this store. You can read all of that info right here. Now that you've had the opportunity to read everything on the screen, what I would like for you to do is click the center button one time. This is going to take you into my store where you can search all of my files alphabetically. But if you click it one more time and one more time, it's then going to break my store into different categories for you. So you can choose the apps that have movies or you want an app that has live TV or whatever. It's broke down into several different categories for you. But I've made a special little category just for this video where it's just an example of how the store works, how you to download apps, and some of the best apps to put on your device. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to download these apps and how quick and easy this really is. Right now, I'm highlighted on the IPVanish VPN. It is by far my number one recommended app when it comes to keeping everyone 100% safe and secure while enjoying all of these apps. The other thing is, is sometimes people have a problem downloading some of these apps or using some of the apps. Not only does IPVanish keep you 100% protected, but it also bypasses all of those restrictions that your own internet provider is putting on you and all of your devices. I always recommend using a VPN when using these apps. So let's go ahead and click on the IPVanish VPN. We're going to click download. And in a second, you're going to be able to see how fast this app will download onto your device. Once the download is finished, we're going to click install. So now we just slide over and click install. Once the installation is finished, it's going to bump us right back into the store so we can continue to download some more apps. All right, so now that we've got the most important app, the VPN protecting us, let's go ahead and download some amazing apps. Let's download OnStream. We're going to click it. We're going to click download. This is an amazing app with movies and TV shows that's simple. Just click and hit play and the movie plays flawlessly. It is by far one of my favorite apps to use when it comes to movies and TV shows. We're going to click install app. We're going to slide over and click install. And again, as soon as it's finished, it's going to bump us back into the store. I got one more app that I want to show you just for you guys to have a really really good app and that is the sports x app all right we're going to click it we're going to click download this app offers all kinds of live sports from around the globe you can watch all of your favorite local teams i live on the east coast and i root for a team on the west coast and i can watch all of the games with this app so we're going to click install just like everything else we're going to slide over click install and when it's done it's going to bump me back in the store so guys, not to sound like a broken record, but my store is loaded with over 50 apps. We've only downloaded three. Please try out several. See which ones work best for you. Some apps have what you're looking for and some don't. That's why I recommend a combination of apps so that you can watch everything it is that you're looking for. Now that you've downloaded all of the apps that you want, go ahead and click the home button on your remote. Because just like we've done before, I wanna go and find those apps that we've installed. And if you remember, just click on the three squares and a plus sign and it'll take you to all of your apps. Just slide down through all of your apps and here are those apps that we've just installed. What I would like to show you is how to move these apps around. Just highlight whatever app it is that you want. Click those three dashes on your remote. A menu will appear in the corner then we're going to select and click on move to front and as you see it brought it from the very bottom and put it up here at the very top i'm going to do that just a couple more times and i'm going to show you why 
So we're gonna three dashes, move to front, three dashes, move to front, and we're just gonna do it one more time. Three dashes, move to front. All right, let me show you why I did that. Go ahead and hit the home button on your remote. Right here from the home screen, you have a very limited access to all of the apps on your device to this bar right here. And as you can see, I have uh, six apps that I can actually see from the home screen. And I wanted to make sure that you guys had easy access to those brand new apps so that you didn't forget where they were or how to get to them. This first app is unlinked. That's my store. If you wanna go back and try out some new apps or get some updates to some existing apps, you're gonna have easy access right here to get back to my store. Now, the next app is the most important. It's the IPVanish VPN. Now, I know everybody is excited and you're ready to go watch free movies, TV shows, pay-per-view, and all of that. But guys, before I ever open any of these apps, I always make sure to turn my VPN on first. So let's go ahead and open up our VPN. Now right here, it will ask you to enter a username and password. If for any reason that you don't already have a username and password, don't worry, I'm gonna make it super easy for you to get one. All you have to do is log in to any internet browser that you normally use and go to this website right here. Or if you like, just take your phone out, point the camera at the QR code there in the corner. Or if you're watching this video and you just wanna scroll down, in the comment section and in the description, I'll leave a link down there for you too. It doesn't matter how you get there. All of the different links will take you to the IPVanish website. From there, you're gonna have the ability to learn more about why everybody should be using the VPN. You're also gonna have the option to pick out a plan. And if you do, IPVanish will then email you with your very own username and password so that you're able to sign in. I'm gonna sign in and I'll be right back. All right guys, so welcome to the IPVanish VPN. Now that you're all signed in, all you have to do is click the center button one time. Now, the very first time, you might have a little pop-up. Just click OK. Give your system just a few seconds. And now that you see the countries lit up in green, you know that you're protected. Guys, it's that easy to protect yourself and enjoy all of this free entertainment without ever worrying about a thing. Now that you know that you're connected to the VPN, just click the home button on your remote. The VPN will continue to run in the background, keeping you connected and protected. So that then finally, you can go and open those amazing apps and watch all of the brand new movies for free. Watch all of the brand new sporting events for free and much more. Guys, if you've made it this far in the video and you've not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. You can also hit the like button. You can ring the notification bell if you never wanna miss another video. But above all that, I would love it if you were to share this video with a friend or a coworker, a neighbor, so that they too can start enjoying all of their entertainment for free, just like you are. All right guys, well thanks again for spending your time with me today. And I really look forward to seeing you again real soon in my next video.